Hey guys, Youngblood with you to show off the Reliant white boxing and takeoff animations that have been worked on and recently released by CIG. The animations that we got really kind of showcase the Reliant taking off and quickly moving into the vertical flying orientation. Now while they've mentioned that before that you can kind of fly the thing either horizontally or vertically, um, the horizontal orientation is only really intended to be used for landing and my guess would be that it has an impact on either your speed or agility or something to that effect. Vertical mode is what has really been designated as like the space flight formation and you can tell from the video that it comes with a you know kind of a definite advantage by putting both the pilot and the co-pilot in the line of the center of the ship. And when you fly the thing horizontally, you're not centered up, meaning that aiming could be a little bit more challenging as a result, as well as having like really tight maneuvering through asteroid fields may become, may become a little bit more, I don't know, hazardous because of that. I've read a few gripes already from people online about how the primary thrusters don't point straight down during the takeoff, and I guess I get the frustration to a certain extent, but if you actually pay close attention, you can see that the maneuvering thrusters under the wingtips are actually firing too. And with the GN technology on board with this thing, I'm sure that there's a lot more power. You know, it's powerful enough to get this thing off the ground without too much help from the primary thrusters. And if you really pay attention to this video, you're actually going to notice a lot of cool, really minor kind of details um, that are taking place during this whole process. Um, one of my favorite ones is if you actually look through the cockpit glass, you'll see a set of doors close and then a walkway that you use to get into the front seats kind of folds up as well. Then, as the ship begins its transformation into the vertical orientation, there's no barrier between the pilot and the co-pilot, and it almost appears like the seats actually close in towards each other to be a little bit closer. I think that's going to be a really cool experience once we get this into the game, either, you know, to be in those seats, really either one of them, and kind of observe each other rotating around each other. Um, you also notice the flaps in the back kind of deploy, and just other various things like the closing up of the, uh, you know, the cargo hatch in the back. I think my favorite thing I'm actually seeing here, though, is the articulation of the thrusters on this ship. You know, they go from pointing straight back to pointing up and down. Um, you know, some of them are sometimes are just, they have a lot of different areas and directions they actually face. Um, and because of that, I think it's really exciting for those of you that own this ship, and even for me, um, because this is definitely a good sign for overall maneuverability. And I think this is also going to be, a, you know, kind of indicative of the type of movements that we can expect to see on the GN Scout. So for those Car2 All owners out there, you should be excited about this type of showcase as well. I think this was a really awesome little showcase that they decided to give us and something that gets me really excited for this ship, even though I don't have one. So if you have other observations or anything that sticks out from this brief little video, let me know. Put them in the comments because I'd love to see what you guys took away from it. Otherwise, stay tuned for more. Have a great day and take care.